Hi, I'm Alex Archbull, and I've been buying and selling antiques since I was nine years old. From basements to scrapyards, I'll look just about anywhere I can to find lost antiques and collectibles. And sometimes I'll go big and buy everything. I never know what's going to happen or who I'm going to meet. This is our life, this is our adventure, and this is Curiosity Inc. Hey everybody and welcome to today's episode. We have been working our way through that house and amongst it all we found things that we kind of saved for last to do with their own special video of. One was the trunk that was in the basement for at least 50 years. Um, the other, well we basically just arm scooped all the jewelry that we found into a bag and we're going to go through it today. So today is the jewelry exploration day. Let's get to it. Um, I'm going to track down where the bag of jewelry went and then we're going to go through and see what we found. So follow along in today's special unboxing video as we explore the jewelry that we found inside the house. Let's go. This has been probably one of the more difficult things to not do over the last little while. Look at this Halloween bag. Actually, Melissa, I might need your help to grab the bag because uh, I'm camera operating and... But yeah, it's turned into a hefty bag. Every time we found uh, jewelry in the house, whether it was in the basement or the bedrooms or whatever, we just dumped it in that bag. Didn't even look it's at it. Heavy. It is heavy. So let's, we're gonna, we're gonna dump it. Oh, uh, it's, we probably should do it bit by bit. I was optimistic thinking this one cookie tray would have been enough to dump the stuff in, but I think we're gonna need a bit more. Yeah. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna pull a chair out for myself to sit here. Look at this. Opportunities just waiting to be on this. Oh, I see you're wiping the table down. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, do you want me to start pulling stuff out of the bag? This feels like when you go trick or treating and you have like, you're looking on top, you're like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> and nobody likes getting those those toffee witch candies that like pull your teeth out. Maybe some somebody watching is be like, those are my favorite. <laughs> but this feels like we just went trick or treating. Okay. Oh, no, you can bring the one up that you want to. Let's see. All right. Oh, yeah, that there was several of these in the house, and I remember finding them uh, when we dumped them in the bag. That is a silver ring box from a company called um, Burke's Jewelers here in Canada. And uh, although it's silver plated, it is a stunning little ring box. This one, unfortunately, the hinge has come loose. You can see the solder has let go of the hinge, but that is an absolutely beautiful little display box. If you have like a nice little antique ring or something, could you imagine just how nice that would be in there? So these ring boxes actually do sell quite well. So even though that's empty, oh yeah, I forgot about this. This is the silver cigarette case. And I was going to explore it and look for markings on it because, uh, uh, from my experience, a lot of times, um, the silver cigarette case I found it actually been solid silver. Uh, do we have a loop? Uh, Melissa's going to go look for a loop. And I'm going to do exactly what I did before. I'm going to set that aside and uh, we'll have a better look at that. There's also this uh, silver uh, lacing hook for pulling your laces tight on your boots. Um, or it could be for uh, ladies' gloves. Either way, it's for pulling laces tight. It's not something that you use nowadays, but um, you know, 100 years ago, this would have been a pretty common piece to have probably over by your door. That looks like it's gonna be makeup or something. I'll open that in a second. Little powder compact, a kind of grubby looking little case, a pair of costume earrings which are uh, not real gold, but these are likely from the 1950s. Clip-on earrings were super popular. Those it's a nice vintage little set of earrings there. And this uh, beaded necklace, which is carved out of something. I wish I could tell you what it was. Um, it looks like little beads or it's, it's not, uh, it could be bone of some sort. Either way, it's kind of neat that it's all carved like that. So that's kind of cool. Alberta Brewery bottle cap opener and a 1920s sort of style ladies this is your little cocktail purse you'd have can you imagine you have your white glove you put that over your wrist and that just has like your lipstick and your probably tiny little compact in there 
pretty much something like that would have gone in there with the lipstick. And that's all the lady needed for the evening. And it is empty. Oh, I see. The cloth actually goes all the way down to the bottom. It just was tucked in there. And it's not in bad shape. That would, uh, it, you can see it has like a little bit of coloring left to it. It was probably a lot uh, brighter in color when it was first uh, new, but it's got this interesting sort of red enamel pattern all the way around the outside with these, um, looks like blue glass or blue uh, stones on the clasp on the top there, dark blue. Um, really nice little piece that, uh, that should sell well at auction. We've got a brooch that might've been worn. It was together with those, so it might've been worn as a set, although that isn't a set, that could have been worn as a set. And maybe that's a little scarf hook or um, for a hairband or something. We got a pin, a pin, haha, <laughs> get it? A pin, uh, which is gold plated with rhinestones. And the plating is quite worn off, but a little pin. So kind of neat. You found the loop? Yep. Okay. You missed the opportunity to say a. a I know I didn't. I said, look, a pin. Oh. You know my jokes better than me. Oh, I almost. I almost poked my finger with it. Okay, um, I need to grab some bags, so I may as well organize this as we go and get it ready into auction lots here. And then we'll dig into the next jewelry box. Okay. Well, solid silver it is not. At the very top, I can see, and you can probably see in the camera too, it says silver plated. But still, a nice, interesting little uh, antique silver plated cigarette case that will still make a nice little piece for someone. What? You should tell them what you did. Oh, Melissa wants to embarrass me. I went to pick up the loop to put up to my eye, but instead I picked this up and stuck that up to my eye. <laughs> and I'm like, why isn't this working? Well, guess what? Oh, you know, it's the end of the day when. Okay, let's look at the next box. All right, you ready for the next yeah. bin? Ba -ba, ba -ba 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 -ba. Looks like toffee. It looks like it's, it's eyeballs and it's mm -hmm. like got a bag hanging out of its mouth. Okay, well, that was a little watch, Cardinal, a battery operated watch. It's kind of a neat uh, necklace, some glass, filigree sort of clasp on there, hairpins. And I think we got a couple little earrings. I don't know if we have the match for that. That's got a little, like a coral rose. Yeah, we've had And a it. green, we've had things like this. That's probably yeah. real gold. Betty Joan actually had earrings very much like that. And a there was a pendant like this. I think I have it. Oh, did you keep the pendant from yeah, the last place? Well, I'm glad that you're finding things you like too. Okay, that is officially emptied out. Little pearls. <laughs> the dog's excited. I don't know about you at home. And then Melissa right now is using the loop and looking for a gold mark on the uh, I think earring. It is gold color. Oh, well, we'll do another little search and yeah, it's I'll have a good really look at nice. it. Yeah, it's a nice little set. Okay, uh, we should get a little garbage bag too for the stuff that we okay. can't or shouldn't sell, like a broken jewelry box or whatever. We'll get that all sorted out. We are in the middle of doing this little unboxing video thing and who shows up? None other than the one and only Joshua Alexander. That's what you were doing. What a great name you have. Oh, yeah? <laughs> uh, but Josh was here, and if you haven't checked out his YouTube channel, his, that guy, uh, where do we find your channel, Josh? It's my name, just Joshua Alexander. And it's on the YouTube. You guys are watching this, you could watch my video all the way to the end, and then go switch over to Josh's <laughs> channel. But let's go upstairs and show them what you did. Sure, Okay. follow me. I'm following you. I like that we had one of the nicest, warm sort of spring weeks ever and you're still wearing your beanie, AKA toque. <laughs> yeah. But look what he, okay, so a year ago, for people who watch our channel, a year ago, Josh and I measured out these nooks as they were being built. Uh -huh. Probably a little over a year ago, actually now. Yeah. And uh, he's like, yeah, all, uh, we had an idea to make something. And I, I was like not bugging him about it because no. he's been doing a lot of stuff. But look at this, <laughs> look at that. Look at what Josh has built us. He's built a beautiful tree for our nook. And if, if somebody, I mean, gosh, 
what's cool about this is that every time I do a house clear out, and Jason has emerged to, to see what's going on. Every time I do a house clear out, I call up Josh and I say, hey, I got a bunch of stuff for free if you want it. Because he does cool stuff like this. Right. And so um, I, had, I saw that he had made a beautiful uh, little bonsai tree. And I said, it'd be cool if we had sort of like a, a twisting interpretation of maybe like a, a bent sort of cherry tree or something. And he's come up with this. I called it a spoon's eye. But it is um, just a really neat piece of art to go in our nook. And it looks perfect there. Um, but what I really love about it, last clear out we did, actually the house that we got the jewelry from, this wood for the, the plinth, the base, came out of the garage. This metal um, that he's welded into the trunk came out of the uh, house that had the Harley Davidson and the, the, yeah. the police car and that, that came out of that garage. And the spoons were out of the house clear out we did a few houses ago that it was full of antiques and other sorts of treasures. So you've taken stuff that I've given you yeah. over the last little while and made it into this beautiful art for me. Josh, that is probably one of the kindest things that somebody has done. Um, and I can't thank you enough. I'm glad you like it. I was intentionally trying to only use things that you gave me because people are always asking, like in the comments, they're like, what is he possibly going to make with that? That's so dumb that he took that stuff. But like, you know. But look what you did. You never know what something can turn into if you don't. Like it looks, I'm going to, I'm backing up <laughs> yeah. a little bit, but it looks absolutely perfect. Like it's meant for that space. It's just what we imagined. But if a person wants to commission something like that, you could probably build them one too, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I This is probably like my fifth or sixth tree like this. This one is like the biggest and probably my favorite. But uh, yeah, I've made a few. Wow, so so watch his channel, contact him, buy his art. And uh, Josh, I can't thank you enough. Thank you for being a, a wonderful intermission of our unboxing jewelry episode. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Josh. Yeah, no worries. Okay, on to bin number three. Cufflinks? Oh, there are CA Victor cufflinks. That's actually even more cool than I thought it was. Look, they've got the uh, uh, little dog on there. Nipper. They've got Nipper the dog on them. I've never seen RCA promotional gold cufflinks before. Must have had to buy a pretty big stereo system to get those. Uh, we've got a lighter. Do you want to pop that out of the case? We'll see what's what's in it. Little antique uh, porcelain. Does it just push out? I think that's Wade Potteries, maybe. Uh, it should just slide out. It's not. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, maybe that one is, if you, maybe that case is part of it. It looks like it's just sewn on there, but it's just a little Ronson lighter. What I was curious about was to see if at one point it was an advertising lighter, which would add value, but um, maybe not the case. Some of this stuff I remember dumping in, like, oh, there's just a watch strap for no reason. Oh, actually, I should check and make sure that's not a little gold. It is not. But there's a watch in here. That's the Westbury Automatic. I'll just give it a little shake -a -roo. Nothing yet, but uh, we'll wind it up and see. There's another tank style Bulova from the 1940s. Next up, let's see what we got to work with here. This looks like a little sewing kit. Isn't that where you put your pins? This is, yeah, like a little sewing box. Okay. Got a little bracelet. That's kind of neat. It looks like, um, I don't know if it's hand painted, but an interesting necklace. Lots of little beads on it. Really interesting beads all the way along with a sort of drop pendant, beads on there. More sort of 50s earrings, screw back earrings. Tiny little shoes. You put them on your fingers and walk around. <laughs> I'm surprised they fit on your fingers. Uh, they're like the perfect size for fingers. I feel like I should keep those when I'm a grandpa. <laughs> hey kids, you want to see grandpa do his dance? <laughs> I'd separate them so I could actually make them walk around matches big sort of polka dot back earrings but one of them is missing the back off it oh this is um uh, italian uh mosaic brooch 
micro mosaic brooch. They take tiny little bits of glass um, and make these sort of patterns. That That's so intricate, that would take so long to do. But that is uh, typical of an Italian micro mosaic. You've seen these before, right? Yeah, I think like we've really had cool. we've had those before. That's a really neat item. I'm gonna set that aside. Quite like that. Oh, of course, look, there's a little ba ballerina pin because she was a ballerina. A little penguin. A little penguin brooch. Yeah. I should say brooch. Those are brooches. Tiny. Oh, a little mouse. <laughs> Instantly you go to the little mouse voice. It's cute. It looks like a probably Bambi era. 1940s kind of like a little girl's brooch. You put that on your sweater. Could you imagine like the little dress maybe and the little cardigan over top and you got that on the sweater? Oh, there's a cameo earring. I wonder if the other one's in here too. Lots of, there's a ballerina slippers on a chain. I don't know if the other Lady Jane Petite. Oh, there's a ring. I think that that's actual gold. Let's see if we can find, you got the loop? Yeah, it looks like gold. Okay, we'll see if we can find a gold mark on that. Melissa's checking that out. 10 karat. 10 karat, okay, well it's 10 karat gold ring. Yeah. That's not, there's a bunch of 1930s three pence coins turned into a bracelet. It was really common, you, you would see people would take coins and, and uh, solder on attachments like this and make bracelets out of them. I've seen them going back to the 1800s where they've done that, so it's been around for a while. Well, that was kind of a neat box. Tiny little ivory elephant. Bedazzled brooch. Rhinestone. It's a pin or a Yeah, it's a little pin. Or, oh, it has a hook on it. Maybe you put it on your shoe or something, I don't know. Some sort of embellishment, these little ball drop earrings. Very uh, 60s kind of looking. That's kind of interesting. Is that a necklace? Uh, yeah. You have a really tiny neck. Well, oh, like, like a, a little choker. girl, yeah. yeah. Like a choker, yeah. But it's, what is it, like holly or um, mistletoe? I don't know or? what it is, because it's... It looks very seasonal. It looks like something you'd wear at Christmas time. The leaves aren't uh, holly, because they have pokey leaves. Right. That's cool, though. Yeah. Oh, this actually says something on it. What is this? Capilano, Canada. Oh, Capilano Bridge in Vancouver, BC. A little souvenir bracelet. Neat. Oh, there's another ring. That looks like it's just going to be costume jewelry, but still kind of neat. It's always fun going through these boxes because you quite literally don't know what you are going to find. And my job is to go through and try and match things up like this so that we have little assortments of things that we can get rid of. Well, I don't see the other, well, there, nope, hang on. Oh, that's the same one, I got all excited. I was looking for the other one and I put it back where I found it. Okay, well, we'll get this cleaned up and we'll move along to the next, uh, next little bin. Oh, there's a, another cameo earring, but it's a smaller one. Hmm. We'll see, maybe it'll be a mixed in with the other stuff. We'll find out. We've been continuing to open up boxes. I found more of these lovely little silver ring boxes and see their hinges are fine. Uh, 925 silver rings, or sterling silver rings. There's been several of those. Um, we had the 10 karat gold hoop, the earrings. No, 14 karat. Oh, 14 karat. So 14 karat gold earrings. Um, some nice antique, I don't, that's not Sherman, but it is a nice costume brooch. Same with that. Some nice antique brooches. And those can go up, that might be Sherman. It would say, I would have an yeah, S on the I back if it was. It. But it is nice. I found this little carpet brooch. Oh yeah, isn't that cute? But it had a different type of clasp on it, like for the pin. You have to pull this part to let the needle out. Oh, that's different. Yeah. Well, it's definitely not coming off whenever you put it on something. We are moving right along as we find more jewelry. And 
we found this on the first day. It's a really nice silver and amber set. Those would be heavy on the ear though. Those are earrings. Those would be a little bit heavy. Nice antique cameo brooch that you could also wear as a pendant. And I can see that it says silver or sterling right on the back. There's the uh, matching pendant. And Melissa's busy over there cleaning up some stuff. Um, there are lots of little gold chains and things. She's just working on a... This one's a sterling Singapore. Singapore is the type of chain. Yeah. Uh, it's a little gold drop earrings. I don't know what carrot they are, but I can definitely see that they're stamped. Oh, look. I've been making my way through the pile here and filling up this box, getting it all ready to go to the auction, getting it inventoried. Some of the jewelry has been really nice, like there's been gold and pearl rings, um, nice little cameo sets, while other jewelry, well, it's best to be worn by hose. Ho, 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 is that is? There's a Santa Claus brooch. <laughs> I don't know what you guys at home were thinking. Um, I have uh, an awful lot of work yet ahead of me, and at this point, I'm kind of putting the loose and uh, the loose jewelry together, hoping to find the matching pieces, like those earrings. Uh, there's some nice vintage costume jewelry brooches in the mix, and just putting together lots that make sense together. Um, at the end here, I will kind of go through and show you what I think the better jewelry was, the nicer, like I'm going to put it in fancy little boxes and stuff. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm just plugging away at it here, making sense of all this jewelry. All right. If you can't tell it's the next morning, uh, Melissa has gone off to work. I am working from home today, going through the rest of this jewelry, and I think I've just about got it all wrapped up. My stuff is uh, set aside for auction. And uh, on top of that, I was going through some of the watches and I found this. It's a little Jules Jurgensen watch. Um, now, what's interesting about it is that I had found in uh, the basement, in the empty boxes, a watch box for a watch and sure enough it's the same one it's the proper one for that watch and uh as the tag says it's um gold plated with real garnets it's not a bad little thing but let me show you some of the better stuff that we were able to find nice to put the watch back in its proper box we'll put the tags back in there and we'll get that boxed up but uh we found an antique nurse's watch it would have been uh, worn sort of as a brooch so it's easy to access um, it's in working condition with sub-seconds, probably 1940s, a gold fill. Lots of vintage earrings, Celtic-style rings, the micro mosaic, of course. Uh, that's a 14-karat gold tennis racket, uh, earrings. All of this is what I consider the better stuff, and it's all actual gold, you know, 10, 14 karat, um, semi-precious stones, just some diamonds, not really big ones, but there are some little diamonds the micro mosaics which i just think are really cool crystal bracelets and so forth uh and then just a big box of this sort of jewelry we'll just put out as is now <clears throat> excuse me um melissa when she was here kept coming back to this and saying that is so cool that's so cool and she loved the little mouse so much she made a squeaky little mouse voice for it so i'm just gonna leave that aside for her um she doesn't really buy a whole lot for herself and she doesn't, she's not, um, uh, she's pretty well set for the jewelry if she wants, but she really likes birds. So if she decides she doesn't want it, I'll let her decide that, but I'll keep that for her. But uh, for me, this ended up being a pretty good haul of jewelry in the end. We ended up with uh, about 120 different lots of jewelry, which will all go to auction as part of our sale, which is May 27th at Kastner Auctions, kauctions.ca. And um, should be a pretty good time. Look at this giant bin full of jewelry all sorted and organized now. It's no longer in a bin. Uh, there's some stuff that's really cool, like those antique uh, silver ring boxes and I don't know, just tons of neat stuff. So uh, pretty good haul. I hope you enjoyed today's video. As for me, I'm going to finish loading this box up and I'm going to head over to the auction to get this stuff all over there. 
Um, we've got a showcase all set aside. I think it's going to look fantastic. So guys, thank you very much for watching another one of our videos today. Uh, if you want to attend the auction or just watch and see how things are going, we're doing a big sale May 27th, I believe is the date at kauctions.ca where all the stuff you saw today will be going up for sale other than Melissa's bird brooch. <laughs> um, everything you saw come out of that house will be going up for sale um, as well as a big toy collection too. Uh, so definitely we're checking out kauctions.ca but for me guys, I gotta get back to work. I'm off to the auction. We'll see you soon. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, you should do that because we're doing interesting things on this channel all the time. Uh, but as always, bye for now. Bye guys.